Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. So today, well tonight I should say, I need to get this video up for nighttime. So it's only what, a little bit after six. I finally finished my third book of my stack here. So let's talk about them, shall we? Get all five stars. As much as I love getting five stars sometimes with ones that I'm not really so sure of, I kind of wish they were three stars just to unhaul them just to make space in my book cases, which might sound kind of weird. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, you got more books. <laughs> okay, so the first book, Take Me Home Tonight by Morgan Madsen. I was so surprised how loved this one was for five stars. Oh my god, was this an adventure. So cute. I've seen some movies and TV shows surrounding New York City, even though I've never personally been there myself. This was so good. Two friends who are both... um theater kids, and they both um, are very different folks. They're both besties, and they both decide to take a trip. Um, to, yeah, basically, they take a trip to New York just for fun throughout the night and adventures and whatnot until midnight. They have to get home, back to school. Well, yeah, they basically have to get back home for midnight. Yeah, I think it was midnight. And um, a lot of Shenanigans happen, so a lot of chaos, a little bit of romance here and there. One of them meets a cute boy, so I get too much away, but even there's like a, a third character story, which is interesting. <laughs> I thought it was kind of like, not cheesy, but kind of like, what's happening? <laughs> kind of weird, but um, I can't say too much. This is why I hate these movie reviews. I can't say shit. Because then you give away so much and spoil. But for me, this is definitely it was so good. I was so surprised. The little dog here makes sense. He is a character in the book. I thought it was weird that the author had a pooch on the back, as you can see in the show right there. So, yes. Um. Anyways, I loved it. Morgan Madsen. I have read a few of her books before and loved them. This one was definitely a lovely exception. <laughs> If you never checked out our books before, I would suggest giving this one a try. I was so surprised by how much I enjoyed it. A lot of shenanigans and stuff going on. and Basically, you try to get from one place type destination they do, then obstacles happen. You try to get to another one. More shit happens, but you're trying to get to like your main thing. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> I felt how they felt. <laughs> Ooh. Next up, Under Rose Painted Skies by Louise Gornall. Oh boy, for a mental health representation book, I don't have, they should have had trigger warnings. Um, Self-harm, OCD, what's that one where you have panic attacks because you're scared people might leave your house? Agoraphobia or something? I forgot which one. There's one where it's close to that. I think it's acrophobia, that's a fear of spiders. So, um, and also... Yeah, panic attacks. Crazy in here. Um, whew, man, this hit me like a ton of bricks. I don't have any of the, the trigger warnings in here, thank God, but man, whew, you literally go into the main character's head, and that's what's terrifying about it. Um, it's about this girl named Nora who had four years ago, she had in school. Nothing's more sad than having a panic attack at 13 that's so strong you're scared to leave your house and you're almost like the 18-year-old woman. It's like, whoa. So, yeah, meets a neighbor that's quite cute, but literally she can't even, like, step outside of her porch. She can't even, like, get out her front door. Like, that's going to be ter terrifying. I literally, half the time, just wanted to jump into the book, give her a big hug, and just say, come on, you can do this. Everything will be okay. Um, I didn't cry throughout the book, but, man, I sure felt sad for her. I'm more like, girl. Now I understand the whole bird thing that's mentioned a couple times in the book. Scared to leave the cage. It's like, man, <laughs> this is so crazy. But yes, yeah, there's a boy, and even her mother is kind of, like, she is supportive, I think. Sometimes throughout the beginning of the book, she was just like, <sighs> like, almost like, they could fuck over a 10-year-old. It's like, do people not realize with mental health, you don't ever get over mental health? And let's just so just say the self harm. I'm gonna say it right now. It is three page, three or four pages throughout the book of deep shit. <laughs> like, I never did self harm. 
but I'm just saying self-harm sadly is something that's happening in the world which is sad oh man it is graphic <laughs> okay um graphic scenes in here definitely a lot of craziness but I do love how there's a romance surrounding this whole dick of Stannis <laughs> <laughs> but it was so amazing. How is a sad book this amazing? I did not know part because they interpret things so well. Now I understand OCD better for folks who have it. I understand. Um, now I finally understand what panic attacks are. I never had a panic attack before my general anxiety my whole life. Um, because I have like a lot of coping mechanisms, right? Especially with reading. But um, I feel like maybe if I didn't have them, oof, these are pretty deep. So even says someone blurb saying that this is humorous. This is so not humorous. This is a depressing as fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was so amazing that this was sad. <laughs> amazing and sad. Last but not least, I finished today the Isle of the Lost Dukes, a prequel to the Sittas. Disney's Descendants. Yeah, this is a prequel. You get to discover how Mal, Evie Jay, and Carlos meet each other, how they knew each other, how Surprisingly, spoiler alert, Mel and Evie hated the shit out of each other. Well, Evie was trying to be nice to Mel, and Mel just despised her. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so funny, because in the movie, you think, ooh, they're besties, and in this book, woohoo, they hate each other's death. Spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> um, the second book that I'm going to read, which you'll see in my TBR video tomorrow, um, is the first movie, <laughs> Descendants from Disney. So... Yeah, this is just adventures, crazy shenanigans and schemes, mostly um, surrounding Mal the most and Maleficent, her mama. <laughs> and um, now I understand what the heck this big tree's about. It's in the book. Let's just say they go on an adventure to go to this tree. And yeah, a lot of crazy shit. But I'm a big De Descendants fan. I love it. So good. So good, so good. <laughs> So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Lovely stack here. This is a very lovely color scheme. <laughs> um, all five stars, amazing. Like I said, give them all a try. You never know. You might find your partner lovely taste, or you might find one that you hate. I don't know. I don't ever say the word recommend <laughs> because you know my fear with that. If someone claims I recommend something to somebody that they hate a book. You said this book that you died. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Uh, just give them a try. You never know. You might find a fave. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, this past next three days will be literally close to 100, 100 degrees. Jen will be in this house in the AC. I am not going outside. I am not prepared at all. <laughs> so, I don't have anywhere to go anyways. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, I shall talk to y'all later. Peace and love, and God bless, guys, and happy reading.